Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're gonna have a look at how we can rotate a circular piece of text. So we're gonna come up to our titles and generators here, and we're looking for the BrettFX Power Tools. Now, this is a free version of the plugin. You can install this, and you get this circular text option in here. So we're gonna drag this onto the timeline, and then we're just gonna get this text position. So we'll change it to white first, just so it's nice and visible, and then we're gonna decrease the scale of that circle so it's nice and snug around the ball and then we're going to type title of our club and we will change the text offset so that it kind of matches that we can increase the scale we can increase the font size down here as well so if we want a bit of a bigger type we can increase that and then we'll just map the the text offset and then we're going to duplicate this layer so i'm just going to hold down the option or the alt key drag this up and then we're gonna change this so the text is on the inside of the path. And in here, we're gonna type in Water Polo Club. And you can see we've gotta change the text offset here and also increase the scale of that circle so that it kind of matches up nicely. So we'll select this type and we're just gonna drop the size of that down a bit. And we're also gonna to come to our type options here and just increase the tracking here for this line of type just so that that text doesn't bunch up so we'll tweak the size of the type just a little bit more and then we'll come back here to our titles options in the inspector and we're going to just modify the text offset and decrease the scale here a bit more so that it's in there and you might find yourself having to go back and forth between the type options and the generator options here so we're just going to increase the tracking a bit more and we will also change the color of our type so we'll go for a simple black and then we'll get this nicely lined up so what want to happen here is for this ball to spin the spinning to stop and then for the word Kelowna to kind of spin in as well and then water polo club will spin in after that so basically what we're going to do is come ahead in time to where we want the animation to be finished so you can see here the ball stops there so we're going to bring Kelowna back a bit so we want it to spin on as the ball's still spinning and then to stop just after the water polo ball has stopped so we'll have the ball stop Kelowna spin on and then water polo club spin on afterwards so i'm going to set in the options here for the video in the inspector for the words Kelowna. I'm gonna set my rotation and my position and my scale. And then I'm gonna come back to around about here. And we will then change the rotation of this so you can see it's rotating nicely around the, the ball. We'll come from below here. And basically now you can see Kelowna kind of snaps into place. We're going to tweak the timing of that a little bit. So we'll right click on that, show the video animation. Just going to stretch out the timing of that so it's a little bit slower. We'll play this through again. Okay, I'm just going to move these back a little bit. So I can hold down shift to select both those keyframes. And what we'll also do here is we're going to fade this in at the beginning. So I'm just gonna use Command and T to add a cross dissolve. We'll make this a bit shorter. And that's basically gonna mean we fade in as we move up. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of blur on that too. So we want it to be in focus here when the animation is done. So I'm gonna add a radial blur. So you can see in the effects on the right here, under video and blur we have the radial blur we'll just drag this onto the type and we're going to drop down the amount there don't need that much blur just a little bit around the edges and basically here we'll add a keyframe we'll come back we'll come back just a frame or two add another keyframe and then I'm going to use the keyframe navigation up here to come forward and we're going to drop the amount down to zero. So basically when this fades in, it's got a little bit of radial blur on there, which is just going to make it a bit more convincing. 
So now we're going to animate on the water polo club. So we'll play this through, and basically, just after Kelowna's snapped into place here, we want water polo club to snap into place there. So I'm just going to pull this back a little bit. And what we're going to try and do is animate these so they don't bump into one another. So here I'm going to add a keyframe for the position, rotation, and scale. I don't think I need the position, but I just want to set it anyway. And then we'll come back. So we've got Kelowna coming across from the, the right there. We'll have Water Polo Club coming around the circle from the top there. So I'm going to rotate this here in the inspector. I'm actually going to get them to bump over each other a little bit there and to stop them from bumping into each other I'm just going to increase the scale of water polo club so what that should mean is that as we come round water polo club will snap into place and I just need to make that a little bit bigger probably around about here so we'll just increase the scale back up there again to hold it so spinning around and then it's going to jump into place. I just want to try and avoid that overlap that we're getting there. So we'll just bump the scale up again a little bit. We'll play this through. Okay, I'm going to actually move this down the timeline a little bit. So we'll play this through again. Okay, I quite like that. So we've got the ball spinning, it stops, and Kelowna and then the water polo club kind of come into focus. We are going to find out where this ends here and I'm going to add a radial blur onto this too we'll add a keyframe turn this down to zero come back a frame or two just using the cursor keys put the blur back up there we'll just have a look at that and then we'll come to the beginning again and I'm going to select the beginning of that and add a transition, a cross dissolve transition in there. So let's see how that works. So I think we could work on the speed of the Kelowna Water Polo Club a little bit. I quite like the animation. So I'm just going to show the video animation for that second layer. And I think I'm going to just speed this all up a little bit. I might just delete this middle keyframe. I think it's making things a little bit bumpy. Let's see how that plays back. Okay, I quite like that. Could be refined a little bit more. And that's a nice little quick ident for our water polo club. So I hope this is useful in terms of how you add the keyframes, how you kind of work with the radial blur to give it that nice authentic look and feel. And if you have any questions, then please do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.